While Vincentians were ushering in 2023 in different styles, nurses at the Milton Cato Memorial Hospital were preparing to welcome this country's first baby for 2023. The bouncing seven pound baby entered the world at 1.57 a.m. to first time mother, Sonelsia Nanton of Sandy Bay. You know, this Saturday, I walk about being broken the man, so I am up and have to reach in Jastro. I just say mean to in the afternoon. Yes, yeah, Saturday evening. Her precious boy is one of three boys delivered at the Milton Cato Memorial Hospital. There were also three girls being born on that same day. The second baby to be delivered is a girl who came at 2.55 a.m. Third baby, a boy at 3.25 a.m. Followed by baby number four, a boy at 4.30 p.m. Then at 9.35 p.m., a girl and last baby, also a girl at 11.58 p.m. The beaming mothers we spoke with were young first-time mothers. The, most of the journey was rough, but it was worth it. I'm scared why not? I'm having a child on New Year's Day is the best. Because I can't remember they stay forever and for the rest of my life. It's something to remember, a moment to cherish, you know, and hold on to because New Year's is a special day as well where you celebrate going into a new year. The babies came as a surprise for the mothers as none of them came on the due date, which was either before or after the 1st of January 2023. The mothers are from Chauncey, Sign Hill, Sandy Bay, and Lomans Leeward. Staff nurse at the Maternity B Ward at the Milton Cato Memorial Hospital said they are just happy for the excited mothers who all had a normal delivery. Yeah, everybody is so happy to celebrate mommies and the babies, especially the babies who born in New Year. Yes, there are six babies. Babies are doing really good and mommies are coping well with the babies. Larissa Pugsley Kid, SVG TV News.